Hey Libra, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for May to August. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. Uh, I do have personals open for the time being. Uh, details are down below. They are starting at $20. Okay, there are three different options. Libra. We're going to do money and career messages at the end, but you're starting with the Empress for the month of May. So looking really good in the month of May. Success, abundance, fertility. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's a very fertile energy when the Empress shows up. You're looking very attractive to people here as well. Uh, you're in the energy of attracting. So be mindful of that as well. The lovers is showing up right here. A new connection coming towards you with a fellow air sign or a Taurus here. Um, what's going on with this? Okay, I'm getting all of those, so we'll take them. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords can represent a victory. You can see the crown there on the um, on the sword in the card. It can represent a breakthrough. So you have the world here, the High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles. You thought something was going to be uh, kept from you by this Capricorn or this Pisces here. Uh, you thought something was going to be kept from you. It could be by a system in general, um, but I do feel like you're having a victory with that. The uh, world is showing up here. It's closing out, and I feel like you you get a victory here. There's a big turning point that I feel like you didn't really expect. Uh, the Empress showing up, it puts you in a really powerful position where you may have felt like it was going to be taken from you, or maybe it's a position you felt was going to be given to someone else or something of that nature. Basically, you thought it was going to go in someone else's favor, and it goes in yours. And I think that maybe you're suspecting this because you're, you're not hearing a whole lot. Um, you know, you're not being given a whole lot of information, but I feel like things just have to really be private in whatever situation this is. You do have the Three of Pentacles showing up right here for the, uh, I wish it would focus a little better, showing up right here for the month of June, Libra. Um, some of you, you could have Mars and Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with that here for Libra. Three of Pentacles for the month of June for Libra. Three of Pentacles for the month of June for Libra. Strength is showing up. Like I said, in a very powerful position, celebrating something. The number three is going to be significant to you right now. Um, community is going to be emphasized in these next four months. They're emphasizing community, like your support system, um, you know, getting out there, creating something as well. The threes can also represent like creation, uh, expression, you know. Uh, don't hold yourself back in situations where you've got something to say here. I mean, you can definitely watch how it is that you say it. You have another three showing up here, three of swords, uh, but definitely don't hold back, you know. I do feel like there could be some relationship obstacles in the month of June because of some success that you're having here. Maybe it's uh, causing you to not be as present for certain things here, for certain people, I guess you could say. Um... Yeah, there are people here who are feeling really entitled to your energy. There's definitely a difference in neglecting people and, you know, really needing to prioritize something else here for the time being. You have the Two of Swords, like somebody's closing off to you. I do feel a little bit of a petty energy showing up here for the month of June because you've chosen to pour some energy into something else here that uh, needs priority at this time. You know, it, it needs to... Um, you know, it needs to, that something else needs to take a back seat, basically, and somebody's upset about that. Um, you know, but it feels like this is a really big opportunity for you. You can't miss it. So, yeah, um, somebody's not very understanding of that, this air sign or this Leo. You do have the Seven of Wands showing up for the month of July. Let's look at that. The Devil. Hmm. You beat the odds here in a crazy situation with this Capricorn or Gemini. Um, you're beating the odds, though. The star. <laughs> yeah, I think that... Um I think you were very much underestimated in a situation. You do have the Nine of Wands showing up here. I almost feel like you underestimated yourself in a situation, but you come out on top here. You beat the odds. Uh, for some of you, if this has to do with competition, you're beating out the competition. Like if this could be for a job or something of that nature, um, you know, I definitely see you moving up, okay? You have the Six of Cups showing up for the month of August. Let's look at that. I feel like you're having a lot of success, though, with the star here. Uh, success that you didn't see yourself having. Five of uh, Wands is showing up here for August. Be prepared for something from the past to come back up in the month of August, causing conflict, causing issues here. Or something from your past, like somebody's throwing your past in your face or something of that nature. Uh, yeah, something of that nature here because the Queen of Wands is sh uh, showing up right here. You have adopted a new energy about you. You're more confident. People are upset at the way that you're moving now, upset at the way that you see yourself now. Like people really liked it better when you were in a space of low self-esteem. Like I don't know who this is that you're connecting with here. Looks like somebody you may have known in childhood, a cousin, a sister, a friend, uh, you know, a brother. Like there's somebody here who's just jealous of the way that you're doing something here. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's putting some stress on them because you were on their level for a while and now you're moving up. Like maybe you weren't really doing a whole lot for a while or you were getting involved in like partying, things of that nature. Um, 
And yeah, that's fine every, every now and then, but you know, I feel like it became problematic for this person and you know, you chose to step back from it and then this is something they chose to lean more into and they're kind of blaming you for that because they're having to look at themselves and see, uh, you know, that they can do it. You can do it and so can they, but they don't want to do it, you know, so they're trying to convince you that, you know, uh, you should be a different type of way. Yeah, you have the 10 of wands showing up right here. Um, you know, why do you want to put in all that work or why do you want to be away from, from me and from, you know, other people? Because some of you this involved in move here or this does involve a move or will yeah and they're yeah this is a real childlike energy you got a page of wands showing up here i feel like a heated discussion is going to be happening in august because you're choosing to move towards something else and somebody's really discouraging you from that and when the discouragement doesn't work i feel like that's when somebody's going to throw insults or you know uh like personal bashing here is the energy that i'm sensing um you know but i'm seeing a crazy situation here turn out in a victory for you like something is like renegotiated or something of that nature here with the two of cups and the hair font some of you could be getting into a commitment here but someone with a lot of power i feel is delivering you um you know some good news here it looks like really positive news something worth celebrating i think that you thought you were going to be uh, really screwed in a situation and you're not i feel like you're actually having a victory here so um we're going to get into work money and career messages you do have the death card that wanted to stay out on the table for some reason whenever i picked up the deck so we'll take it could be a career change for some of you, or maybe you've not had a career at all here. Seven of Swords, something was taken from you. Queen of Pentacles is showing up here. I'm getting by like a Capricorn or a Scorpio here, but you do have the Two of Pentacles. Something turns around, Four of Swords. I feel like you're really praying for this too. You're really wishing on this with that Four of Swords energy. I feel like you've been getting a lot of offers that you just don't want to accept as far as where it goes. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, I feel like they either fulfill in one area and, you know, like it's like they either fulfill financially, but you have no passion for it or you have a passion for it, but it doesn't fulfill financially. You know, it's like this vicious cycle here, but you do have the Knight of Cups. This is a dream or a vision. I feel like that's finally coming to life and you're going to be getting some news of that here. Um, you know, I feel like this could be more towards the month of July. I feel like this could be more towards the month of July. Um, and I feel like another decision has to be made elsewhere before this can happen. So yeah, it looks like it has to go through many different heads uh, is how this is seeing to, is how this is looking to me. Uh, but that's what I'm seeing here for you. Um, I do hope this was helpful. Uh, details are down below, Libra, for anybody who may want a personal. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching this far. I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.